This is exciting, huh? Okay, fair enough. I'm excited to be here. I actually mean that. I usually say that every time I step onto a stage, but I actually mean it tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. I am uh, I'm trying to lose weight. I know that sounds uh, very uh, surprising to you guys, I'm sure. Well, you big fat guy we never heard of trying to lose weight. How interesting that's going to be. Okay. You don't have to check your phone right in front of me. <laughs> you could go to the bathroom. This is only the biggest night of my entire life. <laughs> You're going to ruin it by checking your phone right in front of me? I'm trying to lose weight. I, uh, I had to quit drinking for the diet that I'm on, which is not a good reason to quit drinking because you're fat, that's not, nobody buys that. I mean, you quit drinking because you're always getting in fights, you drove your car off a bridge because you thought you were the Dukes of Hazard. It seemed like a fun thing to do. I quit drinking because I'm fat. I drink water, hot tea, and iced tea. That's all I drink now. I drink different temperatures of water with varying amounts of dirt in it. That's all I so I get my iced tea at Dunkin' Donuts in the morning and I go through the drive-thru, which is like a battle of wills. That's for me. I know it's good, fucking asshole. That's why I have a joke about it. <laughs> I get my iced tea at Dunkin' Donuts. I'm booked the night of the Jeff Fox with a gig, that's fine. I get my tea at Dunkin' Donuts. I can't lose that $75. I'm... I get my tea at Dunkin' Donuts. I go through the drive-thru. This is like a battle of wills, because every morning I go, can I get my uh, large iced tea? And they say, yeah, would you like 17 donuts for a dollar? <laughs> We're having a special where for a dollar we'll give you 17 donuts. And just for today, if you don't have a dollar, we'll give you a dollar. Would you like <laughs> the donuts? But I would say no, because I'm trying to do good. I always ask if they have Boston cream donuts. And then they say, oh, yeah, how many do you want? And then I just say, um, can you say hello for me? <laughs> y you want us to say hello to donuts? Can you just tell them I'm thinking about them all the time? <laughs> all day, every day, that's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> Lydia I work with uh, has raccoons in her attic. She told me that. She said, I got raccoons in the attic, which sounded like an impossible problem to have. I don't know how you get raccoons in your attic unless you open the door and escort raccoons up into your attic. I thought she was talking about menopause, to be frank. It was like a tone of voice thing. She's like, I got raccoons in the attic. She's trying to be like a sympathetic coworker. I was like, that's gonna happen. That's it get older, you're going to get a couple of raccoons in the attic. And then she showed me a picture of the raccoons in her attic and followed that up with a bunch of questions about why I think raccoons hate old ladies. Hey, my name is John Sullivan. You guys have been alright. Thank you guys.